tell you what, I would give my daughter's hand in marriage to either of these fine gentlemen. All right, here we go. <laughs> Objectifying the players. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'll be more respectful. Yo, Excuse me if I, my, my commentary falls off. I'm a little there, distracted. There, there, there's some well done pieces of meat on the stream right now. That's all we gotta say. I think we can challenge the rest of it. <laughs> Another Fox Marth set coming our way. Another good one, yeah, for sure. The class, the, yes. We got the true Chads. The truest Chad Schmang playing Fox Marth from the start. Yep. And Schmang, Schmang is well versed in the, the, uh, EQ, uh, the EQ mind games as well. He's well versed in this, and EQ's gotten so much better at this game. It's kind of crazy. He just kind of kills people. He is pretty good at this game. Also, DJ, can we get a stream? Oh, my bad. I, I hadn't realized that because I was watching the Twitch stream, and then I I'm probably behind. There you go. Yes, sir. Like, yes, sir. Yeah, the like, 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 like. As somebody who's played EQ for a little bit, I know a lot of people have, but like, I put so many games with him. I can like see, you know, he does the same game plan. It's like he does it so much better these days. Like, it's crazy. Like, he'll kill you like at 30% if you're not careful, which is like, like absolutely wild. And it's like an actual, like, legitimate come like, complete cheese. Yeah. I mean, hey, Marth be like that sometimes. True. And EQ especially be like that sometimes. <laughs> oh, oh, that's unfortunate. The stinky cheese from Helix. <laughs> nice Ooh, shine. Good shine there. That was yep. beautiful. Okay. I feel like the foxes have been on top of their shines today against the Mars. Yep. I feel like see. I've seen a lot of gifts. Just good to see. They're getting, they're getting their revenge for all the down tilt. Good. Games. Got the stinky cheese in chat. Ooh, that approaching air was not safe, but it worked out. Schmink, 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 Schmink is very familiar with this. I think he definitely can make this comeback. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I think it. talking to Schmang like, before the last sketch play, I think he was mm -hmm. saying he feels really good about this matchup right now, so... Schmang's we'll looking kind of calm, too. Just in the, in the player cam. Calm, calm, collected. He always looks like he's really, always experienced, which I think, I think is really great. It just shows he really wants to win. I like, he always sucks in his cheeks. Yeah, I noticed yeah. that. I, I want to call that out, but you call it out as as his homeboy. So. Yeah, no, I, I I like all the players' little mannerisms that they have. I think it's I think it's cool. What's yours? You think? Do you, do you know? Do you know what yours is? Um, I don't really have any. The only thing is, I used to like do the big like head nod when I landed a rest, but I've kind of gotten over that. But that was mostly mm -hmm. because I missed most of the rest that I threw out before. <laughs> So it was so like you're happy when you did work? get the ones, yeah. Yeah, so it was like it was it wasn't even like a it was like a little mini pop off. I uh I have I, I like I like lick my uh my lips a lot. It's like a really weird tick I have. Or like I'll uh I'll kind of do like a little short head nod too. It's like the two things I know I do. And and if you're lucky to see it, I'll stick my tongue out for a very prolonged period of time. Jimmy, I, I haven't noticed that, but Jimmy is eye rolling a lot. Yeah, anytime yeah, yeah. Anytime, yeah. anytime I would see you get equalized, yeah. the frame perfect eye roll. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <I> Drew. <laughs> the open mouth, yeah. The open mouths are fun to see, too. There's, lo there's lots of little mannerisms for everybody. I, I do some mouth movements when I'm like trying to move fast. Just to, like, I, I mimic my controller with my mouth, you know. I mean, I think I think James still has like one of the best uh, actions mid set versus me. I still, I, I think it's one of the funniest things still. The lean back. The, not, not even the oh wait the lean back. Like I don't when, think I seen the lean back. I think he like oh. he rolled back a little bit when you did the three stock comeback. The, the oh one. no you oh, no no you're right no he he does do the lean back that's so right it's so totally right. <laughs> When we're talking about like the, like the lean forward into the speak, that's the best, the best part. <laughs> I also learned recently that if you power shield a uh, shield breaker, it doesn't do any shield damage. That's sick. That makes sense to me. That's sick though. Yeah, it does make sense. I love power shielding. I'm awful at power shielding. I know, I, 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 I'm pretty good at it. I feel like I feel like unless you expect yourself to get it, it's almost worse for you. I feel like like I, I don't expect myself to get it, and I'll like be like, oh, I'm still in bad, and then just get punished for it. A it's character that I practice it and try and do it a lot versus is um, Captain Falcon, because like so much of that matchup. Oh, 
It's just like the mix up of like you crouching and then if they jump reacting to if they aerial instead of tomahawk grab or like tomahawk grabbing instead of aerial. So if you like you already have to react, so might as well try and power shield the aerials. Is my yeah, mind. that makes actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I think one of the most powerful things for uh, anti falcon is being able to uh, shield stomp because because that one is only moves you really can't see see uh, stomp. So if you can if you can power shield, you're kind of cooking. Did get attacked there? All right, welcome Spanky cool. here. He needs this. Got a little bit of damage there. Not that's really. I think make it work. But each you always get good grab. Something that's important is a lot of people. EQ's getting those up tilt down airs against, but change Ming doesn't let it happen quite as much as a lot of other boxes, I feel like. It's the uh, it's like the up tilt and a DI is a down air, right? It's I'm like, pretty sure. I know that's somewhat DI dependent. I don't know too much about it. I think I think you have to DI it up, but I think the reason why a lot of people DI in is because like they're expecting a, their particular like position of the up tilt because I'm pretty sure if EQ faces away, say from the fox and does the up tilt. The fox DI is towards him, it works, but if, if he gets away, it will. It depends on like, where the, uh, the Martha's facing too, I think. Um, but I'm not fully sure on that. I just I just know that sometimes like EQ or even Akira like like rotate their up tilt, even though they like, very clearly could just hit the up tilt normally. So I think it's gonna get up. We'll go back here. Good CC. Is this is this is this this is still pretty doable for Shmang? Shmang's got some momentum here. It's doable, but there's like I feel like there's just a certain feeling. Oh, where like nasty if you got that though. Yeah, does like nasty. some like. Sometimes you feel the comeback coming, and I just don't feel it right now. Yeah, that's like, very I, true. There's no, there's no rationale to this. It's literally just my heart. Mm. But I just like, it's just not in the air. Okay, maybe if he does yeah, F smash, if like that, Shmang closes happen. out, yeah, exactly. It, it, Marth is gonna get about that percent where it's hard to kill. So if EQ yeah. doesn't close it out in the next twenty or thirty percent, it's gonna be very tough for him to close it in total. In EQ classic, as you know, the uh, the run in F smash that is a classic EQ thing. That was a really sick edge cancel by Schmang right there. That was probably the smartest thing he could have done actually. I, I bet you, that. I bet you, EQ's gonna look for a. Uh... That wasn't what I was gonna say, but I'm gonna pretend that I was gonna say that he's gonna look for an F smash. I totally was not thinking up B. EQ always does that. Like he always just like work Who for that quick last question. It's just it's just, it's just his, uh, it's his classic. It's the EQ like just this thing he does. Yeah. <laughs> Goes right I like to I like Spank back. I I always believe in your counter pick. All yeah, right. Exactly. Because as a great man raid once said, stages are make believe, and man's, so it man's doesn't really matter. And if this is where you're most comfortable, go here. Especially because there's like no statistical evidence to point this stage as being bad for you. So. Can, can we call raid like the dad of West Florida? Because he's helped me a lot too, like a lot of little techniques and like confidence stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, raid is a veteran of the scene for sure. We can call we can call him the dad. I think. Yeah. I remember he uh, he taught me something about like the uh, ICs. I think like some stuff like this that helped me a lot with matches. Oh my gosh! Well. Let's go EQ. Let's that would be crazy. I'm mean, really crazy. But I mean, he, but I mean, this is still like up air. really close right Smash now. Smash your eyes um, up. Good stuff. Barely missed base the tipper. See, power shield didn't didn't uh, force the shield. Yeah. Yeah. So Schmink got a jab there, then tried to punch back with him. Kind of interesting. I don't think he trusted the uh, the jab actually to hit. Ooh, like, good weak back oh, air. Good, that's a good call. Very out. good back air. Yeah, EQ does a similar recovery too. He's actually really punching for it. He uh he does like the low ones a lot, and then he'll go for the air on stage. But he rarely recovers high from like what I recall. He could sneeze on him and kill him right now. Yeah, honestly. No sneeze there though. Bless you. Someone was wearing their mask for that. What do you guys do for sneezing with your mask on? Do you take the mask off to sneeze, or do you sneeze in the mask and have potential for uh, interior destruction? 
Uh, I, I, I risk I it all. I sneeze into the mask, I'll be honest. Yeah, I risk it all. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, double back air, very interesting. Oh, that's good. I like, I hate doing it in the mask, but it's like the right thing to do. It is the right, right thing, right? yeah. Cause, like, Even though you can't like transfer the virus through sneezing, it's yeah, it's it's still the right thing. Well, I mean, isn't it transferred by air though? So like, yeah, isn't that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, the sneeze itself right. can't do anything like, but the the breath. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Like you're supposed to, and that's like yeah, like if for the rest of the time that I'm out, I have a gross kind of damp mask, so what, I'm doing <laughs> the right thing health wise. Yeah. See exactly. Like you sneeze into the mask every single time. Is, is that the, you and Chad? Oh, that, that was dirty. That up smash connected somehow. That's crazy. That was beautiful. I think. I think. I think uh, the, the, the reason why that worked is uh, oh. EQ tried to fair there or something. It looked like and EQ looks a little bit frustrated too in the can. At least it looked like he tried to. So I think, also, I think Shmei actually moved backwards slightly, like from his camera. He looks a little bit smaller. <laughs> Going. Ooh, oh, got the tipper oh. too. Yep. Oh, that was Charge nice. it. Uh, he's got his jump. Land. Yep. I'll go down till. This is potentially it. Yeah. Nice. Good back air. We're back to pretty much even. Okay. Basically, and Spang lose right cool. here. Even though he was up almost three stocks to oh. one. So. Alright. Is Spang going to give EQ exactly nice what he tilt. wants? No, he's not. Okay. Yeah. Back off. Yep. This is so close. Shmang does exactly what what, he, what, he, what, uh, what EQ wants to, and it's just him going that ledge. That's covered somehow. Yep. Oh, that was so oh, smart by Shmang. That was too messed up a little bit. All right, we're going to game four. Oh yeah, we got the we got the head shake in the cam from EQ too. Mm -hmm. he's yeah. Happy, he's not happy about that. Oh, he's not happy. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna say Shmang. Doing a little stretch there. He's he, he's he's gonna re mental up. And he's gonna get this. I, I, I want. I do want you spanked with the. Dude, he like, that's what I'm saying. He did that side B so many times. I'm surprised he didn't cover it. Two games on FD. Ah. Yikes. Clashing Maybe spank he... reverse 3-0. That's what we want, Keaton. That is a clash. It's yeah, what we want. But double FD, not looking too hot. I mean, isn't he so sort of most confident on FD though? He's not like a super good FD mark. Weirdly enough, because I feel like. Given the archetype of player he is, he should be. Yeah, I'm right. Not. Yeah, like that's the thing. Like obviously, yeah. This wow, is still like that connected. way skewed in his favor because it's Fox Marth on FD, but it's not as bad as it would be against most Marths of EQ's level. That's I very fair. But I mean, he did just do that though. Like he just yeah. actually pile drive him. Yeah, this is still like massively out of Schmang's favor just because of the stage. Nice, getting those up air follow ups. Yep, he's, he's, he's making me eat my words right now. The punish is looking good. Yeah, this is looking great. Wow, nice up B. Good shit. Learn, learn, learn in the FD matchup. Let's go, dude. Good spot that by Shmang didn't matter. Yo, yeah, that dude. would be kind of goaded though if EQ just didn't do the chain grab and just did his tech chase instead. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, looking like a freshman 40 boy. Freshman 40 potential. That's not. Uh, oh, oh, no, man. I think I think Schmank takes a stock. I think Schmank takes. A stock. I, I I spoke. That was unfortunate. I spoke. I think. Ooh, oh, okay. Nice. There you sick. go. Good edge guard. I think uh, I think uh, EQ's uh, gift on his anniversary oh, Valentine's Day has been paying been paying off in dividends. So we got we have to shout we have to shout out to EQ's girlfriend for uh, from giving him all this advice because he's been playing pretty nasty. <laughs> oh yeah, he, his <laughs> girlfriend got him a, a Zane lesson. <laughs> <laughs> That's so yeah, sick. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. She, yeah, no, for I think Valentine's Day she got him a Zane lesson and for yeah. Christmas she got him a Mewtwo King lesson. Yeah, I wasn't sure what their anniversary was. I, I, I think I'd be confused with their anniversary, honestly. Mine's coming up in a, like, a week. Yeah, I think it was those things, but he's gotten two lessons from Mewtwo King in that <laughs> the, the, the best coach. Shout out to EQ's girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. So, ABC, you, you know EQ a little better. When does he start going for some style? Like, I feel like he's uh, Never. still pretty Never. consistent throughout the whole set, Literally, even though he's ahead. The only time I ever see him go for style is like two and a half hours into the friendly session when you've both stopped trying. 